Fantastic film. Warm enough? Just about. Can you see my face? <laughs> Was this one of the toughest things you've ever taken on, really? I mean, having to sing your, your heart. Yeah, I mean, it's tough, but at the same time, deeply enjoyable, you know? Um, I think everybody came to the rehearsal racked with anxiety and fear because we, you know, we'd all heard Tom say, you're going to sing every take live, but, you know, somewhere... We were hoping that he was, <laughs> that wasn't actually correct. Um, however, once we started doing it and we realized what becomes available to you, that every single take can be a completely different interpret interpretation of the moment. And you realize that by doing it this way, you have complete and utter freedom like you would on a normal film set in terms of your characterization. It was a perfect way to do it. Did it become so normal singing every other line that you and, you and Hugh maybe ended up just singing to each other off set as well? Well, we were all a bunch of singing fools, you know, once, once that engine had started and we were living inside the music of this thing, whenever we got together, we were singing. <laughs> Russell, what is it that we all love about Les Mis? Well, it's a gigantic human story, it's a big epic tale, you know, and not, not everything goes right, you know, I mean, it's sort of like, it's one of those things where, the stories where it feels like it has a sense of reality because of it. And I think Tom has done an incredible job, actually, you know, showing you the grit and the, the dirt and the, you know, and the circumstance of these people's lives. What are audiences going to take from this film? Um, probably a bunch of scrunched up wet tissues. <laughs> Can I ask you, I believe you, you taught young Daniel how to punch, he told me just earlier. Uh, I just sorted him out a little bit because he sort of, he's got a really hard punch, <laughs> but he was cocking his wrist a little bit and you know, sooner or later he's going to hit somebody with a hard head and that's going to hurt. <laughs> Not that I was encouraging him. I wasn't encouraging him. But as a street urchin, he needed to know how to do it. What was it about your character that, that kind of really appealed to you? Well, the opportunity, actually, because the, um, you know, on stage, there's only a certain type of detail that you can go to, you know, and it's a very black and white situation. And just personally, I was sort of unsatisfied with Chauvet on stage because I didn't really understand what that part of the story was. So by reading Victor Hugo, by, by visiting actually Victor Hugo's house in Paris, I came across this lady, you know, typical me, I forgot to actually look what days of the week it was open. So the only day I was in Paris, it was closed. <laughs> but I knocked on the window and went, Gladiator, can I come in? And, um, and she took me around on, a, on a, uh, a tour. And during the course of that tour, she told me about a fellow called Vidoc, who was a real person sort of grew up a middle class fellow with a, an overdeveloped sense of adventure and by the time he was in his late teens he was in prison for dueling and, um, and he stayed in prison for quite some time but with the change of governments he actually found himself working with the police force and then he went up through the ranks of the police force and actually uh, started the Brigade du Surette so he, he is credited with beginning undercover police work and Victor Hugo used Vidoc as the influence for both Jean Valjean and Javert now that's a very piece, uh, interesting piece of information, and I think that that once we knew that, or once we looked at what that meant, that that, that begins to resonate through how we uh, put Javert together. Can I just also point out, you can't go up to many people's houses and go, "It's Russell Crowe, let me in." <laughs> I mean, let's be fair. I do it all the time. You can. Yeah. <laughs> Absolute pleasure, thank you, sir. Especially my mum's place. <laughs> right, right. See you soon. Thank you.